Allow me to begin with a timeless quote that resonates with our pursuit of excellence. The key to success is found in our daily habits. Now let's dive into a topic that can truly transform your life, the scientific daily routine. You see, every man has the potential to reach the pinnacle of success, but it requires the right daily routine. Just like a well-oiled machine needs regular maintenance to perform at its best. Most individuals talk a big game about success, yet they sabotage their own potential with detrimental habits that hinder their progress. This leads to a life of mediocrity, insignificance, and, above all, regret. The importance of a daily routine cannot be overstated when it comes to achieving greatness. The scientific routine I'm about to unveil is nothing short of a game changer. It will turn your mind, body, and spirit into a well-honed machine, operating at peak efficiency, providing you with the energy, focus, and productivity required to conquer your goals. But I must caution you, this journey isn't for the faint of heart. It demands unwavering commitment. It's an all-or-nothing endeavor. So, if you're ready to embrace the challenge, let's embark on this transformational journey together. Step 1. Embrace the power of early rising. Welcome, my friend, to the journey of maximizing your productivity through the wisdom of Stoicism. Today we embark on the first step of this transformative daily routine, waking up early. Now I know that the allure of a warm, cozy bed can be hard to resist, but remember, you are not a little baby. You are a force of nature, and it's time to rise and shine. Why is it so crucial to kickstart your day in the pre-dawn hours? Well, let me share a Stoic insight with you. The ancient Stoic philosophers believed that waking up early sets the tone for your entire day. It's like taking the reins of your life with confidence and purpose. When you rise with the first light of day, you're not just getting a head start on the world. You're gaining mastery over your own existence. Early risers have an edge. They tend to be more proactive, more productive, and they make wiser decisions throughout the day. Think about it. The world's most accomplished individuals, the ones who've left an indelible mark on history, were not lounging in bed. They were up and at them, embracing the opportunities and challenges the day had to offer. Now, I'm not suggesting that everyone needs to set their alarm for five or six in the morning. The exact hour may vary for each person. What truly matters is the mindset the commitment to break free from the cocoon of comfort. After all, no one ever achieved greatness while snuggled under the covers. So I implore you to rise with the sun, not just metaphorically, but quite literally. Remember the words of Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers. First, say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do. When you rise early, you're telling yourself that you aspire to be a person of purpose, discipline, and action. It's the first step in aligning your actions with your ambitions. Imagine this. As the world slumbers, you stand alone, ready to conquer the day's challenges. The quietude of the early morning hours is your canvas, and you are the artist of your own destiny. With the first rays of dawn, you begin painting a masterpiece of productivity, one stroke at a time. So, my friend, let me speak directly to you. When that alarm clock rings, resist the temptation to hit snooze. Instead, embrace the opportunity to seize the day. Rise with determination, for you are not a child who craves the comfort of a warm bed. You are a stoic, a warrior of the mind, and it's time to awaken the champion within. In the words of Seneca the Younger, a venerable stoic philosopher, begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life. Early rising is your gateway to living each day to its fullest, making the most of every precious moment. So, as the dawn breaks, remember that you hold the key to your own transformation. Wake up early, my friend, and let your journey toward maximum productivity and stoic wisdom begin. Step 2. Fasting. Harnessing the power of hunger for maximum productivity. In the journey towards peak productivity and a life imbued with stoic principles, Fasting emerges as a pivotal practice. Picture a hungry beast, its instincts razor sharp, senses heightened, embodying a raw, untamed power. This analogy resonates deeply with the human condition. Hunger, 
often perceived as a mere physical necessity, transcends to become a superpower in the realm of productivity and self-discipline. In today's world where indulgence is the norm, the true potential of hunger remains largely untapped. People frequently succumb to the comfort of a full belly, inadvertently paving the way to lethargy and subpar performance. Reflecting on this, a poignant quote comes to mind, a full belly is the mother of all evil. While this may not encapsulate the entirety of life's vices, it certainly highlights a critical truth, satiety breeds complacency. In the spirit of Stoicism as echoed by Seneca, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This philosophy aligns seamlessly with the concept of fasting. The advice here is not merely about abstaining from food, it's about earning your sustenance. This approach might seem daunting, especially to those accustomed to immediate gratification. However, for individuals aspiring to scale the heights of their potential, embracing hunger is not just beneficial, it's essential. Therefore, integrate fasting into your daily routine. Let hunger be the fuel that drives your ambitions. Start your day with activities that enrich both mind and body, be it immersing in a book or engaging in physical exercise like push-ups. Consider completing significant tasks, such as a two-hour deep work session or a rigorous gym workout, before breaking your fast. During this period, allow yourself nothing but water or perhaps a cup of coffee channeling the intensity of your hunger towards achieving tangible results. The impact of this practice is profound. You'll discover an unparalleled level of productivity and efficiency, a state where your body, unburdened by the process of digestion, becomes a vessel of focused energy. Incorporating fasting into your daily life is not just about physical discipline. It's a modern application of Stoic philosophy. It's a testament to the power of self-control and the remarkable capabilities of the human spirit when channeled it correctly. As you embark on this path, remember that the journey is as important as the destination. Embrace the challenge and let the transformative power of fasting guide you towards a life of greater fulfillment and purpose. Step 3. Blood Flow Next we delve into the vital practice of maintaining blood flow, a cornerstone of both physical and mental well-being and a principle deeply resonant with the Stoic philosophy of harmony between mind and body. Remember, in order for your brain to work optimally, your blood needs to keep flowing, so move. This isn't about rigorous training or becoming an athlete. It's about integrating movement into your daily life. Whether it's practicing martial arts, cycling, or simply taking a brisk walk, the key is to keep your body active throughout the day. Even small actions like stepping away from your desk for some air squats or push-ups, can make a significant difference. Why is this movement so crucial? It's because proper circulation is the lifeline of your body's health. It ensures a constant flow of blood and oxygen, allowing every organ to function at its best. This not only speeds up the healing of wounds, but also keeps your brain sharp and your heart robust. In the words of the Stoics, a sound mind and a sound body is the foundation of a fulfilling life. Imagine this. As you move, you're not just exercising your body. You're also nurturing your mind, embracing the stoic ideal of resilience and strength. Each step, each breath, is a testament to the enduring wisdom of ancient philosophy in our modern lives. So, let this be a call to action for you, our stoic community. Embrace movement as a daily ritual, a simple yet profound practice that intertwines the stoic journey with the path to maximum productivity and health. Remember, in the harmonious dance of mind and body lies the secret to a life well lived. Let's carry this lesson forward, applying it to our daily routines, and witness the transformative power it holds in enhancing our lives. Step 4. Nourish Yourself nourishing yourself. This isn't just about what you eat. It's about feeding both your mind and body in a way that aligns with your goals and intentions for the day. Imagine starting your morning not just with any meal, but with one that truly fuels you. Forget the quick cereal fix. Think of a breakfast rich in protein, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates. This is not just about satisfying hunger. It's about preparing your body and mind for the day ahead. 
but why is this so important? Stoicism teaches us the profound connection between mind and body. As Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. This intertwining of mental and physical well-being is often overlooked in our fast-paced world. Many believe that mental and physical health are separate entities, but the truth is, they are deeply connected. Bad nutrition affects not just your physical form but also your mental clarity, leading to what we often call brain fog. To reach a state of peak performance and optimal mental health, we must look at our physical health as the foundation. This means not only choosing the right foods but also engaging in physical training. Let's delve deeper into this. When you nourish your mind with activities like reading, meditating, or practicing visualization techniques, you're setting a tone for your day. You're focusing your thoughts, aligning them with your goals, and preparing yourself mentally for the challenges ahead. This mental preparation is akin to a warrior sharpening his sword before battle. It's about being ready, being focused, and being clear about what you want to achieve. Similarly, when you nourish your body with the right foods, you're not just eating, you're fueling your body's engine. This is where the stoic principle of understanding and respecting nature comes into play. Our bodies are designed to function optimally with certain types of fuel. By choosing foods that are high in protein, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates, you're respecting your body's natural needs and setting yourself up for success. In conclusion, nourishing yourself is a critical step in your daily routine for maximum productivity. It's about understanding the deep connection between mind and body and respecting that connection through your choices. As you go about your day, remember the words of another great Stoic philosopher Epictetus. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This step is about aligning your actions with your intentions, and in doing so, walking the path of a true Stoic. Remember, it's not just about what you do, it's about how you do it and why. Nourish yourself, not just for the sake of it, but to live a life of purpose, clarity, and peak performance. Step 5. Plan and prioritize your next day. As the sun sets and the day winds down, it's crucial to cast your gaze towards the horizon of tomorrow. In the quiet moments before sleep, take the time to identify and schedule the most vital tasks for the next day. This practice, akin to a captain charting a course before setting sail, ensures that upon waking, you're ready to embark on your day with a clear and purposeful direction. There's no need to squander precious morning hours in contemplation. Your path is already laid out before you. In this endeavor, simplicity is your ally. Your to-do list need not be an odyssey. A brief but potent enumeration suffices. Aim to inscribe just two paramount tasks for the coming day. These tasks stand as your non-negotiable commitments, akin to the steadfast pillars of a temple. They might manifest as dedicating two hours to intellectual enrichment or honoring your physical temple with a session of bodily exertion at the gym. While you may certainly add other tasks to your list, let these remain in the periphery, secondary to your two central missions. This approach echoes the wisdom of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, who advised, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. By limiting your focus to two essential tasks, you guard against the paralysis often wrought by an overburdened schedule. A list teeming with tasks can be a siren song, luring you into the treacherous waters of inaction rather than the calm seas of productivity. In this modern age, where the siren calls of distraction are ever-present, this practice of planning and prioritizing is not just a strategy but a sanctuary. It's a way to anchor yourself in the tumultuous ocean of daily life, ensuring that each day you are not merely adrift, but navigating purposefully towards your chosen destination. This method, deeply rooted in Stoic principles, offers not just a roadmap for productivity, but a compass for a life lived with intention and clarity. Step 6. Sleep. In today's episode, we delve into the profound impact of sleep on our daily productivity, a topic that resonates deeply with the principles of Stoicism. Remember, it's not just about waking up early. 
it's about the quality of sleep we get. The ancient Stoics emphasized the importance of restorative rest aligning with our discussion today. Let's consider a simple yet powerful rule for transformative sleep. Turn off all screens an hour before bed. This is your golden hour to reflect and prepare for the next day. Jot down your tasks, clearing your mind of the day's clutter. This practice not only aids in falling asleep earlier, but also enhances the quality of your REM sleep, a crucial phase for mental and physical rejuvenation. Upon waking, maintain this screen-free sanctuary for the first hour. This period is a gift of clarity, where your mind is most lucid and unencumbered by the noise of the digital world. Use this time wisely to think, strategize, and plan. It's a moment to align with your inner stoic, focusing on what truly matters without the distraction of your phone or trivial content. Marcus Aurelius, a stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, often spoke of the morning as a time for reflection and preparation. He would rise before dawn, using these quiet hours to ponder and plan his day with a clear mind. This practice enabled him to face the challenges of his empire with calmness and clarity. Incorporating this discipline into our lives can be transformative. It's about more than just productivity. It's about cultivating a mindset of focus and purpose. As you embark on this journey, remember the words of Seneca. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. By mastering our sleep and morning routines, we not only enhance our productivity, but also embrace the present moment with greater awareness and tranquility. So, my fellow Stoics, as we conclude today's episode, I encourage you to embrace these practices. Let the tranquility of a screen-free hour before sleep and after waking become your daily ritual. This simple change can profoundly impact your life allowing you to live each day with purpose, clarity, and stoic calm. Remember, in the words of Epictetus, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Listen to your body's need for restorative sleep and quiet mornings, and watch as your life transforms. Step 7. Mindful Reflection Embark on a journey of mindful reflection each day, a practice that is not just a task, but a transformative experience. This involves a deliberate pause, a moment of stillness in your bustling life, to introspect and evaluate your actions, thoughts, and the emotions that they stir within you. As a devoted Stoic, this practice is not merely beneficial. It's essential. It aligns seamlessly with the Stoic philosophy of self-awareness and understanding one's intricate role in the vast tapestry of the universe. Imagine this practice as a quiet conversation with your inner self, a time to delve deep into the core of your being. Use this precious time to contemplate the events of your day, the decisions you've made and the paths you've chosen. Reflect on how these choices resonate with your Stoic principles. Are they in harmony with the virtues you uphold? Do they reflect the resilience and serenity that you, as a Stoic, strive to embody? This practice of mindful reflection is not just about introspection. It's a powerful tool for growth. It's about understanding the ripple effect of your actions, both on your inner world and the world around you. By reflecting on your day, you gain invaluable insights into your character. You begin to see patterns in your behavior, recognize your strengths, and identify areas where you can improve. This is the essence of Stoicism, the relentless pursuit of self-improvement guided by wisdom and virtue. Moreover, this practice aids in making more thoughtful and deliberate decisions in the future. It's like planting seeds of wisdom that will grow into trees of discernment and understanding. Each day of reflection adds a layer to your character, making you more resilient, more adaptable, and more aligned with the Stoic way of life. As Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, once said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This statement underscores the importance of mindful reflection. By examining your thoughts and actions, you're not just understanding yourself better. You're shaping the quality of your life. You're cultivating a garden of tranquility in your mind, where peace and wisdom can flourish. In this practice, remember to be kind to yourself. Reflect with a spirit of compassion and understanding. Acknowledge your successes learn from your missteps, 
and always strive to align your actions with your stoic principles. This is not a journey of harsh self-criticism, but one of gentle self-discovery and growth. In conclusion, the practice of mindful reflection is a cornerstone of a stoic's daily routine. It's a moment of quiet in the chaos, a beacon of light in the darkness, guiding you towards a life of virtue, wisdom, and inner peace. Embrace this practice wholeheartedly and watch as it transforms not just your days, but your entire life. Remember, in the words of Seneca, another great Stoic philosopher, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Let your practice of mindful reflection be your guide to this true happiness. Step 8. Practice Voluntary Discomfort In the pursuit of a scientifically optimized daily routine for maximum productivity, especially for men aged 30 to 65, it's crucial to incorporate an element of stoicism, the practice of voluntary discomfort. This might involve embracing the invigorating chill of a cold shower, experiencing the clarity that comes with fasting, or even the simple act of foregoing a habitual indulgence. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy still profoundly relevant today, teaches us the importance of being at ease with discomfort. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it is because we do not dare that they are difficult. By deliberately choosing to face discomfort, we not only build resilience but also prepare ourselves for life's unpredictable challenges. This practice is not just about testing our limits, it's a profound journey towards self-discovery and personal growth. In doing so, we learn to appreciate the abundance of what we have, and diminish the fear of losing material comforts. This aligns seamlessly with modern life, where the pursuit of comfort can often lead to a sense of complacency and vulnerability to life's inevitable hardships. Incorporating this step into your daily routine is more than a test of will. It's a transformative experience that enhances your appreciation for the simple things in life and fortifies your spirit against the complexities of the modern world. It's a reminder that in the face of discomfort, there lies an opportunity for growth, resilience, and a deeper understanding of what it truly means to live a fulfilled life. Step 9. Engage in meaningful conversation. Each day you make it your mission to have at least one significant dialogue. It could be with anyone, a close friend, a family member, or perhaps a stranger you meet during your day. The core of this practice lies not just in the act of talking but in the rich exchange of ideas, the joy of learning something novel, or the warmth of offering support. Stoicism, a philosophy that has stood the test of time, teaches you the invaluable role of community and the power of learning from others. By engaging in these conversations, you're not just talking. You're opening doors to new worlds and perspectives. It's like walking a mile in someone else's shoes. You gain empathy, a cornerstone of stoic virtue, and understand life from angles you might never have considered. There was once a wise stoic philosopher who spent a day in a bustling marketplace, not to buy or sell, but to converse with people from all walks of life. Through these interactions he not only imparted wisdom but also gained insights into the human condition, enriching his own understanding and empathy. So, as you go about your day, remember to engage in at least one meaningful conversation. It's not just about talking, it's about connecting, understanding, and growing. This simple yet profound act can transform the way you view the world and interact with it. And who knows, the next conversation you have could be the one that changes your life or someone else's. Let's embrace this practice and enrich our lives with the depth and diversity of human connection. Remember, in each conversation lies a lesson, an opportunity to improve not just your life, but also the lives of those around you. Step 10. Evening Meditation and Gratitude Embarking on the final step of your day, Step 10, let's immerse ourselves in the tranquil waters of evening meditation and gratitude, a practice deeply rooted in the Stoic philosophy. Picture yourself in a serene space away from the day's hustle engaging in a few minutes of quiet meditation. As you sit there, let your focus gently rest on your breath, feeling each inhalation and exhalation. 
This simple act is a powerful tool to release the accumulated stress of the day, allowing your mind to find peace and your body to relax. In this state of calm, transition into a gratitude exercise. Here, you're not just listing things you're grateful for, you're connecting with the very essence of Stoicism. Reflect on three specific aspects of your day that brought you joy, learning, or even challenges that led to growth. It could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a productive work session, or a lesson learned from a mistake. Remember, as the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This practice is more than a routine. It's a celebration of the present moment, a core principle of Stoicism. By focusing on what you have and expressing gratitude, you cultivate a positive mindset. This positivity is not just about feeling good. It's about recognizing the abundance in your life, no matter how small it may seem. This recognition is crucial in Stoicism, as it helps you appreciate the value of your experiences and fosters a sense of contentment. Moreover, this evening ritual prepares you for a restful sleep. As Marcus Aurelius, another great Stoic philosopher, advised, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. By ending your day with gratitude, you set the stage for a new day filled with possibilities and a mindset ready to embrace them. Incorporating this practice into your daily routine is not just about following a step. It's about embracing a philosophy that has stood the test of time. It's about understanding that every day is a gift and every moment is an opportunity to grow, learn, and be thankful. As you continue on your stoic journey, let this evening meditation and gratitude be a beacon that guides you towards a life of serenity, resilience, and profound appreciation for the world around you. Remember, in the words of Seneca, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Let this practice be your pathway to true happiness as you navigate the ebbs and flows of life with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. As we conclude today's journey through the 10 scientific daily routines every man should do for maximum productivity, from a stoic perspective, I invite you to embrace these principles in your everyday life. Remember, Stoicism isn't just a philosophy. It's a practical guide for living with resilience, serenity, and purpose. I encourage you to experiment with these routines, observe the changes in your life, and share your experiences with us. How have these stoic practices impacted your productivity and overall well-being? Drop your thoughts and insights in the comments below, and let's continue to grow and thrive together in our stoic journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Stoic in your life. For more content that bridges ancient wisdom with modern living, stay stoic, stay productive.